Hello, boys and girls. It's Mrs. Baker and your friend, Harold. And here we are at Elkins Public Library. I'm so glad you're joining us again. Today, I'm reading Here We Are by Oliver Jeffers. I know you've loved this book. I just read this just a few weeks ago to you in second grade. Do you remember? Well, I'm about to read it right now with help of my app, Novel Effect, and I hope you like it. This is a book I love to give to babies just born. I give it as a gift to moms who've just have a, had a baby. At the end, we'll discuss the book a little bit, okay? But here we go. Are you ready to listen? Good. Here we are. Notes for a Living on Planet Earth by Oliver Jeffers. Look at that. The North Star, the Little Dipper, the Big Dipper. Look at this. This is a wonderful book to read when you can look at all the pictures yourself. Here we are. Notes for Living on Planet Earth. Written and illustrated by Oliver Jeffers. Our solar system, the sun, here we are. And look at all the planets, Neptune, Saturn, Pluto, look at all of them, circling around the sun. Well, hello, welcome to this planet. We call it Earth. It is the big globe floating in space on which we live. We're glad you found us, as space is very, very big. There's much to see and do here on Earth, so let's get started with a quick tour. The planet is basically made up of two parts, land, rocks and dirt, and sea made out of water. Firstly, Let's talk about the land. It's what we're standing on right now. We know lots about the land. Hot, bumpy, pointy, cold, flat, and wet. And then, then there's the sea, which is filled with wonderful things. Look at all that. We know a little bit about the sea, but we'll talk some more about that once you've learned how to swim. Oh, did you hear the whale? I did. Now, there's also the sky, though that can get pretty complicated. And look, someday you should take this book out and see the constellations that Oliver Jeffers has written on these pages. Okay, moving on. On our planet, there are people. One people is called a person. You are a person. You have a body. Look after it, as most bits don't grow back. The most important thing for people to remember are to eat, drink, and stay warm. Look, they're having a lovely time. People come in many shapes, sizes, and colors. Do you hear all the different people? We may all look different, and act different, and sound different, but don't be fooled. We are all people. Look at all the different people. Let me do hear all the different people. There are animals too. They come in even more shapes, sizes, and colors. They can't speak, though that's not no reason not to be nice to them. Look at all those animals. The elephant and the seagull, and the whale, and the buffalo. 
Wow. Do you have a favorite animal on this page? I'd have to look at it longer myself. You may not be able to speak yet either, even though your head is filled with questions. But be patient. You'll learn how to use words soon enough. Generally, how it works is when the sun is out, it's daytime, and we do lots of stuff. And the rest of the time is night, when it's dark, save for the moon, and we all sleep. You should sleep at night, boys and girls. Look at that little baby. He's up. Things can sometimes move very slowly here on Earth. Look, the river's going through. Look at that. He's taking a nap. But more often though, they move quickly. So use your time well. It will be gone before you know it. Look at that city. Listen to the city noise. Though we have come a very long way, we haven't quite worked out everything yet. So there's plenty left for you to do when you grow up. You'll figure lots of things out for yourself, but just remember to leave notes for everyone else. Look at that. It looks big, Earth, but there's lots of us on here. So you must be kind. There's enough for everyone. Well, that's planet Earth. Now make sure you look after it because it's the only one we've got. And now, if you need to know anything else, just ask because I won't be far away. And when I'm not around, you can always ask someone else. You're never, ever alone on Earth. And that is the book, Here We Are, Notes for Living on Planet Earth by Oliver Jeffers. Thank you, boys and girls. Now, moms and dads, I'd love to just have your attention for a little bit. The book Here We Are, Notes for Living on Planet Earth by Oliver Jeffers is a wonderful book. I give it as a gift to many new parents because obviously Oliver Jeffers has written it from the viewpoint of uh, welcoming a baby onto our planet. I love this book, uh, very beautifully illustrated, very beautiful colors and shapes, and it gives the reader a lot of uh, very unique details to be able to look at the page with the animals. Um, I always get asked to turn back to that page. Kids absolutely love that. And it encourages some dialogue uh, between you and your child about different kinds of animals. And also, different kinds of people. Now the books that I'm going to be presenting over the next few weeks, I'm going to include a lot of books of diversity because where we live in a rural New Hampshire setting, it's very, very important that we encourage children to have sensitivity and awareness of other people and other cultures. That's very important to me. So we're going to be presenting a lot of books of that type. Oliver Jeffers has been really wonderful the last few weeks in giving us written permission to go ahead and read this book to the children. Um, this is a wonderful book that really is very, very, very reassuring to a child that things are going to come back to normal and things are going to be like they always have been. Um, it's a very comforting book. The children asked me to read this quite a bit, so I hope you enjoyed it. 
So, under fair use guidelines, I'm obligated to tell you that this is a production of Baker Company for Productions in cooperation with Elkins Public Library in Canterbury, New Hampshire. The sole intention of this video is for educational, nonprofit use only. Please do not copy or sell this material without written permission from myself or Elkins Public Library or the town of Canterbury, New Hampshire. So, join me again for another book time. And don't forget, I love you and I am so proud of you.